morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 31 years of practice. Practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We can help you. Our number 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, truth skin health products, something you may have heard about or read about, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got blog posts and news stories up, as well as all the Longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Treatments, uh, Truth Treatments, Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with generous amounts of vitamin C, up to 68, almost 70% vitamin C in some of our products. You'll get 5% retinol in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. You're not going to see that anywhere. There's a reason why Harper's Bazaar voted Truth Serum one of the top 150 products in the world. And that's in the latest Harper's Bazaar magazine. That's because it's packed with vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, water, silicon, oil. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Treatment products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking a little bit about green tea. We've got a few more things to say about this absolutely fabulous, fabulous botanical supplement, nutritional supplement. I'm not necessarily a big believer in herbal supplements, but it's hard to dispute the crazy, powerful benefits that you get from drinking green tea, aside from the fact that it tastes great, it's cheap, it gives you a little caffeine buzz in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you do your green tea. And as we said yesterday, it's got a really very standout, well-recognized properties for helping deal with the leading cause of death in this country and around the world, and that is heart disease. Green tea also is important for helping folks who have diabetes. It can help lower blood fats, improve cholesterol processing. It's got powerful antioxidant properties. All of these can help, uh, can be important for helping protect the heart from cardiovascular disease. And then it also has insulin benefits, helps support insulin health, and that also will help you with heart health issues. Using green tea as a beverage, using it as a supplement might be something you want to think about if you have been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease or even if you just want to prevent heart health, heart health problems. From a 2007 article in the journal American College of Nutrition, quote, studies indicate that pronounced cardiovascular health benefits can be obtained by drinking five to six or more cups of green tea per day. Furthermore, studies using similar amounts of green tea have demonstrated its usefulness for maintaining cardiovascular health. Researchers concluded 
green tea and EGCG, that's the active ingredient in green tea, can be regarded as food components useful for the maintenance of cardiovascular health, unquote. From the journal Current Medicinal Chemistry, August 2008, quote, epidemiological, clinical, and experimental studies. Epidemiology is the study of people and what people do. They take a bunch of folks and they just ask them questions, basically. That's what an epidemiological study is. In any case, uh, studies, clinical, experimental, and epidemiological, have established a positive correlation between consumption of green tea and cardiovascular health, unquote. That's from August 2008 in the journal Current Medicinal Chemistry, and from June 2000 in the journal Biofactors, we learned that green tea can help prevent cardiovascular disease as well as cancer. In a study of 8,500 Japanese residents, a decreased risk of heart disease as well as cancer was observed in those drinking 10 cups of green tea a day compared to those drinking less than three cups. So you can drink a lot of green tea, which is kind of interesting because it does have some caffeine in it, not a whole heck of a lot. There's probably uh, maybe 30 to 40 milligrams of caffeine in a cup of green tea, twice that much in a cup of coffee. So you're going to get some, you get a good caffeine buzz when you drink your green tea first thing in the morning. <clears throat> I like mixing some Beyond Tangy Tangerine in my green tea, and I also use a cinnamon and clove and a little bit of ginger just to make it taste good. Sometimes I'll put a little honey or stevia in there as well. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, by the way, makes green tea taste really nice, orangey and sweet. Speaking of cancer, this is another important place where green tea consumption can be helpful. In fact, there are as many studies on green tea's ability to slow down protection, uh, uh, slow down and prevent, and pr uh, prevent the progression of cancer and metastases of cancer as there are cardiovascular health issues. There's really, if you go on Scholar uh, Google Scholar or Scholar Google, Scholar.google.com or PubMed.com, these are scientific websites. Scholar.google.com, I should say, scientific uh, search engines. You don't get the advertising, you just, just get scientific articles. And you look up green tea or you look up EGCG, it's like page after page after page of articles, studies, research that shows the power of this stuff for, uh, for helping prevent heart disease as well as helping prevent cancer. And it's just as important for both. Interestingly, cancer and heart disease are the two leading causes of death. Diabetes is the third leading cause of death. And, and all of these are things that green tea can be beneficial for. In any case, green tea can help slow down the progression and the metastases, the spreading of cancer. If you go to uh, Google and uh, Google Scholar or PubMed, you'll see dozens of articles about the relevance of green tea as a cancer protective, particularly for hormonal cancers, cancers of the breast, cancers of the uterus, the cervix, prostate cancer. These kinds of cancers require urokinase, that's a special enzyme, in order to do uh, in order to spread throughout the body. Urokinase is a blood thinner and cancer cells will actually work with this enzyme in order to thin the blood so they can kind of travel through the blood more effectively. One of the ways the body protects itself is by thickening the blood and thickening the blood will keep cancer from spreading. So those wily little cancer cells and those little guys are super intelligent. Like all cells, they have an intelligence and a consciousness and the, unfortunately it's an evil intelligence that cancer cells have and they will somehow uh, sense thickening of the blood, which occurs in response to the cancer cells, and they'll secrete these, these, uh, this uh, ke uh, chemical, or at least work with this chemical, called urokinase, which is a blood thinner and a clot buster. And uh, cancer cells will leverage this thinning effect to facilitate their movement through, through the bloodstream, through the circulatory system. On the other hand, urokinase inhibitors can thicken the blood and make it more difficult for this spreading to occur, this metastases to occur. And as it turns out, urokinase inhibitors are found throughout the plant kingdom. This is one of the most important mechanisms of certain botanicals for helping fight cancer and helping fight, uh, helping fight the spreading of cancer, the metastases of cancer. Herbs, fruits, veggies, all will have, a lot of them will have urokinase inhibitors. Kiwi, peas, pumpkin, spinach, lemons. Some of the most powerful urokinase inhibitors, as we said yesterday, are found in turmeric. Curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, is a urokinase inhibitor. And it's one of the reasons why that's such a powerful anti-cancer substance, as is green tea, which we will talk about when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Hunters. Okay, 
we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. Got uh, lines open for you. Our board is empty. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, green tea or turmeric or cancer health issues or any health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to comment or if you have a success story, we love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and Healthy Start Pack and Fucoid Z and really any of the Longevity products, we don't have all of them up at Brightside uh, at uh, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com, but we got a whole bunch of them. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470 if you want more information or if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business and earn thank you checks and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're the kind of person that likes making money, which like helping people while you're making money and you don't want to just sell widgets, you want to sell something that will actually actually change people's lives. If you're interested in being in the health business, if you're interested in being in the nutrition business, if you have experienced the power of nutritional supplementation in your life or if you've experienced the power of the longevity products in your life and you want to help spread the word and earn a living at the same time, you can make a significant amount of money being a member of the Longevity team, being a member of the Brightside Ben team. Love to have you aboard and I can help you build your business as well. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And they can give you the full scoop. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Truth treatments.com. Take a look at our retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with blemished skin, acne prone skin, if you want to prevent the formation of wrinkles or even reverse the formation of wrinkles. I personally have been working with retinol and retinoic acid for over 30 years as a compounding pharmacist. And I can tell you there is no more important anti-aging ingredient than retinol with the possible exception of vitamin C, which is why I put vitamin C in my Truth Retinol 5% Gel. In our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, you'll get vitamin C as well as retinol, the two most, empower, the two most important and the two most powerful anti-aging topical ingredients. If you're dealing with any kind of skin health issue or skin aging health issue, you need to use retinol. And if you've tried to use retinol in the past and got irritated or couldn't use it for whatever reason, you want to give our Truth Retinol 5% Gel a shot made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, surfactant, emulsifier, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so continuing on with green tea. Absolutely love this stuff for the heart, for cancer. By the way, uh, green tea it has some very significant blood pressuring, blood pressure lowering properties, blood pressure lowering effects. In fact, it's very similar in its effects to a type of drug called an ACE inhibitor, an ACE inhibitor. ACE inhibitors are drugs that work with enzymes in the kidney. They're like all drugs. They've got a toxicity profile. They've got names like Lotensin or uh, Captopril is the generic form, Zestril, Prinavil, uh, Monopril, Vasotec. There's a whole bunch of these, Acupril. These are all considered to be tra uh, ACE inhibitor drugs, ACE inhibitor drugs. ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. Uh, angiotensin is a very potent chemical that is, in that, uh, is involved in how blood vessels open and close. ACE inhibitor drugs prevent that occur from occurring and thereby drop the blood pressure. They prevent the, the constriction of blood vessels. And of course, they're drugs and they've got a toxic profile. Well, guess what? Green tea is a natural ACE inhibitor, which means if you're sipping on green tea and you're taking an ACE inhibitor, that may allow you to reduce the dose on your nasty pharmaceutical drug. And that really is the goal, always. If you're on a prescription drug, your number one health challenge should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of it or at least to reduce your dose using green tea can be a great strategy. Before we went to break, we talked about green tea for cancer, and indeed, this is another place where green tea has some very significant and powerful health benefits. It's a urokinase inhibitor, which means it will keep the blood from thinning too much, preventing cancer cells from spreading. And this is this uh, urokinase inhibition is a uh, is a, a botanical strategy that plants use, and there's lots of urokinase uh, uh, urokinase inhibitors found in plants, found in lemon and turmeric and kiwi and 
and as well in, in green tea. In fact, this might be the major way that green tea prevents the metastases of, uh, of cancer cells, the spreading of cancer cells. According to professor of urology at the University of Toledo, Dr. Jersey Jenkin, writing in the journal Nature, June 1997, quote, EGCG, which is the active ingredient in green tea, might inhibit cancer formation in many different ways. However, we postulate that the well-known anti-cancer activity of green tea is driven by inhibition of urokinase, which is, quote, one of the most frequently overexpressed enzymes in human cancer. In other words, urokinase is, is hijacked by cancer cells in order to allow them to spread. In addition to cancer of the breast and the prostate and the cervix, green tea is also important for the digestive system, for cancers of the digestive system, for liver cancer, for lung cancer. There's wonderful benefits, anti-fibrotic benefits that green tea has for folks who are dealing with liver fibrosis or cirrhosis, for fatty liver disease. Green tea can help folks who are dealing with fatty liver disease, and one out of three Americans is dealing with fatty liver disease. Green tea applied topically right on top of the skin has been shown to inhibit the tumor-promoting effect of, of various uh, cancer-causing substances, carcinogenic substances. Green tea administered in drinking water inhibits skin tumor formation that is induced by the sun and ultraviolet radiation, so it's a good idea to sip on some green tea when you're laying out in the sun. And you can spray green tea right on your skin. I used to make a green uh, anti-sun protection or anti-sun damage spray, a sun protecting spray made with beta glucan and green tea. And I would just spray it on myself when I was laying out in the sun. You could throw a little uh, lemon peel in there, or you can soak some lemon in your green tea, and that will upregulate or boost the uh, the anti-cancer properties of your of your topical strat of your topical green tea uh, solution. You can uh, put, put some green tea in your favorite cream or lotion to boost its sun protective value. You can make some uh, green tea mask. If you mix some oatmeal with some green tea liquid for the water, use green tea for your water and mix it up with a little bit of oatmeal, you can make your own green tea mask and that's a great acne treatment. Green tea being anti-acne as well as oatmeal having a nice soothing effect. You can use green tea uh, as a toner, you can add a little wine or a little apple cider vinegar to green tea, maybe a little bit of lemon juice, and you'll get yourself a nice alpha hydroxy acid green tea toner. If you boil some green tea in a pot and put your face near the steam as the green tea is boiling away, you can give yourself a nice green tea facial. Not too close, you don't want to burn yourself, but the steam will help open up your pores and you'll get some nice green tea activity to the lower levels of the skin. Your skin can benefit from, uh, from uh, green tea capsules. Green tea capsules are really very handy. If you don't have time to make your green tea or you're on the run, you don't have a, you're traveling, you don't have access to a hot plate or a stove, you can use green tea capsules, get skin cancer protection, skin health, uh, uh, anti-sun anti -sun damage protection. D green tea is a DHT inhibitor. It inhibits the nasty or the powerful form of testosterone called DHT, which is associated with acne. So you can use green tea as a drink or you can use it topically to help fight zits. And it doesn't only fight zits and it doesn't only uh, improve the appearance of oily skin. It also has a calming and soothing effect for reducing redness or irritation or even inflammation. That's a lot of benefits from one substance. Drink your green tea. Add a little coconut oil to your green tea. You'll get even more benefits. I'll tell you about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you, and we want to hear from you. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, I love talking to my smart, bright side listeners. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also check out our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Also at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program or want to send one of your customers or clients or friends or loved ones to a program, we have search engines up at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. And you can search for specific programs or specific topics. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 
Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get your calls here momentarily. A couple of interesting articles that I uh, got here today for you from the European Journal of Surgery. This is uh, an article on zinc, connective tissue repair in zinc deficiency. Protein synthesis and formation of scar tissue were lower in the zinc deficient animals that were tested. Zinc is a mega, mega important uh, supplement for for helping, uh, for healing, for wound healing. And when I say wound healing, I don't just mean skin wound healing, but also wound healing in the gut, wound healing in the uh, internal milieu of the system for bone healing. And zinc is woefully deficient. Unfortunately, most people are going to be deficient in this mineral. I've talked about it before. It's so tragic to me because zinc is ridiculously cheap to supplement with. Pennies a day to get 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. It's especially important if you're dealing with skin health issues. And I forgot I was going to mention before we went to break, I told you about coconut oil. Uh, always mix coconut oil with your green tea. You'll get more green tea benefits if you, uh, if you have a little coconut oil in there. And if you're using cinnamon or clove, uh, the polyphenols that are in the cinnamon and the clove and the ginger, whatever kind of uh, flavoring spices you add to your green tea will also come out more readily in the water. If you mix, uh, mix your tea and uh, mix a little coconut oil in with your green tea. Mixing coconut oil with green tea will pull out the active materials out of whatever, uh, whatever you're adding to your green tea, including the EGCG, the active ingredient which is found in green tea. And by the way, there's another really cool active ingredient in green tea that we've touched upon in the past but haven't really talked too much about. And this is a very, very interesting active ingredient that's important for brain health, for mental health. This is an active ingredient that's found in green tea that's been shown to have antidepressant properties, to improve cognitive performance, to have benefits for folks dealing with uh, dementia, to promote uh, the production of what are called alpha waves. Alpha waves are brain waves that are associated with relaxation and learning. And uh, this active ingredient in green tea has been shown to promote alpha wave, uh, alpha wave production in the brain. Uh, we'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. Didn't mean to digress there, but I, I wanted to mention that. Uh, a couple more things here. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Which countries have the best health care? I'll give you a clue. It's not the United States. The United States is 35th in a study on healthcare quality of 195 countries, the United States finished 35th. Among nations with more than a million people, top honors, went to Switzerland, followed by Sweden and Norway. But you know what? The healthcare gold standard, according to, uh, according to this article, was a country called Andorra, which is uh, uh, somewhere between Spain and France in, in Europe, Andorra. I hadn't actually heard of Andorra until now. Iceland was number two, Aus uh, Australia number six, Finland number seven, Netherlands number nine. How ironic is it that we spend more, more money per capita and we have more doctors per capita uh, than any other country on the planet and we're 35th? That alone should tell you that we've been scammed, people. The medical model is a scam with a capital S. Not when it comes to so much when it comes to traumatic injuries and heroic medicine, as we've said before, because we've got to give credit where credit is due. When it comes to patching us up, the, medi the mainstream medical model is miraculous. It's a miraculous medical model. When it comes to patching us up, when it comes to chronic long-term degenerative diseases, your doctor's scamming you, not him individually, but as a representative of the medical model. It is a ripoff, a scam, abusive, and anti-human being to give people prescription drugs and to hack their bodies apart, removing organs and rerouting systems as, you ha as happens in bypasses and, and, gastric, uh, and gastric surgeries, uh, bariatric surgeries. It's, it's just unconscionable what physicians and surgeons do to the body electively. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Brian in New Hampshire. Good morning, Brian. How you doing, buddy? Doing well today, Ben. Thanks for taking my call again. Good to talk to you. What's going on? You know, I, I actually wanted to ask you about the flaxseed. I, I generally, like, I, when I eat, I read carbs in the morning, let's just say, like, I make toast, and I put, try to put toast and eggs, and I put flaxseed on it. Mm -hmm. I, I've been Yummy. 
but I get pre-ground black seed that's organic, and I yeah. I, I heard I, I overheard that you said that might not be stable, and this might have been actually a yeah. mistake. Can, can you yeah. can you elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah, I will. For a couple things about the pre-ground flax seeds. First of all, you got to grind your flax seeds to get the benefits. The the coating on the flax seeds is designed to to be very resistant to stomach acid, and uh, more often than not, most of the time you're going to find your flax seeds in the toilet when you if you take them without grinding them up. However, if you grind them up, you release the nutrients, but the problem is when you grind up the flax seeds, this shell, the, the coating on the seed, which is protective, is now degraded, and all those yummy fats and vitamins and nutrients inside the flax seeds will be exposed to oxygen and exposed to heat, exposed to light, and they'll start to break down. What's worse is when they break down, they're going to produce nasty oxidative uh, oxidant compounds. So in, in, instead of being a pro uh, antioxidant, it will become a pro-oxidant. So you don't want to grind your you want to grind your flax seeds up fresh. You don't want to save them. Make them every day. And if you buy the, the pre-ground flax seeds, you got to keep them in the freezer. And even then, you don't really know if, you're, if the, the precious nutrients inside the seeds are breaking down. And uh, to add insult to injury, you're paying $20 a pound instead of a dollar a pound when you buy, the, when you buy them pre-ground. So it's much easier and uh, uh, much more cost-effective and much better for you to, use, to uh, purchase the the uh, uh, full seeds or the whole seeds, and you get them pretty much at any health food store in the bulk section. Look for golden ones. They tend to have a little bit more nutritional value. And then grind them up fresh. Just get a coffee grinder. And then don't just use flax seeds. Use chia seeds. Use pumpkin seeds. Just go crazy with seeds. When you grind the seeds up, you release the nutrients and you lose a lot of the negative, a lot of the problematic uh, substances that are found in seeds can be uh, can be released or can be uh, broken down, so you don't have the negative, you don't get the negative effects of the of these uh, 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 of these anti nutrient substances that are found in the seeds. But you get the nutrients released, and they're much more stable. I, I should say uh, it's much more bioavailable. Now it isn't as it's you'll lose stability, so you got to do it fresh. Don't try to make your seeds on Monday or grind your seeds up on Monday and keep them for the week. You got to keep them. Make sure you're doing it fresh every day uh, and I wouldn't I would just use the amount that you need for that particular dose instead of saving it even for a whole day what I do is I weigh out 30 grams of flax seeds and maybe 10 grams or so of chia seeds and then if I'm in the mood I'll throw in some pumpkin seeds and then uh, or some sesame seeds and just grind them up and then I mix them up with water and then I add all my favorite spices to the water put a little coconut oil in there always mix coconut oil with your spices because you'll pull out the nutrients and I make a delicious flax seed chia seed pumpkin can see beverage that is super good for your digestive system. If anybody out there has problems with regularity or constipation, this is an amazing way to stay regular. And then do probiotics and do some apple cider vinegar. Remember, it's probiotics that help activate the uh, the uh, power of the fiber. I'll talk, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. We got a quick commercial we got to take. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. On the bright side, we're talking to Brian in New Hampshire about flax seeds. Brian, you there? Yes, I am. All right, so a couple more things, and then I'll let you finish up here. Uh, mixing coconut oil with your with your uh, green tea, or I'm sorry, with your flax seeds will help pull out some of the nutrients from the flax seeds. Also, if you're adding spices uh, like cinnamon and turmeric and uh, and uh, uh, clove and nutmeg and ginger, whatever you're adding, the co coconut oil will pull out the polyphenols out of those spices and also pull out the active ingredients from the green tea as well. Always mix coconut oil with your spices and with your fats, and you'll be able to access those nutrients a little bit more effectively. Uh, let's see what else I was going to tell you here about flax seeds. Oh yeah, vitamin E and flax seeds go together go together really well, and probiotics and flax seeds go together. Uh, flax seeds go together really well. Probiotics act on the fiber and release what are called short chain fats or SCFAs, and those short chain fats, which we've talked about many times in the past. Uh, are very important for brain health, mental health, digestive health, for giving you more energy. They fight cancer, and they're also ketogenic. And coconut oil, by the way, is ketogenic too. So mixing coconut oil, flax seeds, and taking probiotics at the same time is awesome for generating ketones, and can be very effective if you're dealing, if you're uh, uh, trying to access the power of the ketogenic diet. Last but not least, always use a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and you'll get even more ketogenic benefits. Does that help you, Brian? Anything else you want to know? 
Yeah, actually, I, I wanted to shift gears into that. Like you mentioned really quick about the uh, chia seeds. I, I do try to put chia seeds when I drink uh, green, green tea. So, and since we're talking about green tea, uh, you got to grind those chia also, seeds up, though, like the flax seeds. You got to grind the chia seeds right, up. Right. So I got to grind those as well. I, yeah. I wanted to yeah. know that, and I wanted to know if it actually would have any benefits of actually supplementing L-theanine, which I actually. Oh, you're stealing my thunder there. I was going to talk about that on Monday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to talk about theanine about on Monday. You you stole my thunder there. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I didn't mention that earlier. I talked. I kind of hinted about it uh, before we before we started taking calls. We'll talk about theanine on our next program. Um, okay, chia seeds, are, it's not as important to grind up the chia seeds as it is the flax seeds because the chia seeds will kind of, the, the, the coating on the chia seeds will swell up uh, and soften up when you add water to them, but it always helps to grind them up. Uh, I should also tell you, mixing soluble fiber, which is what's in the chia seeds, with insoluble fiber with the flax seeds can help prevent some of the problems associated with flax seeds. Sometimes when people take flax seeds and they, have, if they, have not, if they haven't, had an, uh, haven't been using fiber in the past and they do flax seeds, you might get a little bit of cramping or bloating or even a little diarrhea or loose stools. Uh, that goes away as your body gets used to it, but if you want to prevent that from happening in the first place, mix soluble fiber, which you get in chia seeds, with insoluble fiber, which is what you get in your flax seeds. They work together very well, and that's why I like mixing chia with the flax. All right? And we'll talk about theanine really on Monday. Helps. We'll talk about theanine. is amazing stuff. I love it, and we'll talk about that on Monday. Okay? I look forward to it. Thank you, Brian. Take care, man. Have a great day. All right, let's go to Mary in Wash, uh, West Virginia. Good morning, Mary. How you doing? Uh, yes, I have two questions. The yes, first ma'am. one is, uh, do you know anything that will clear the film off of your lens after you've had cataract surgery and the film begins to grow back? Oh, that's terrible. Isn't that awful? You have you go have the surgery and then the film the film comes back. The film should be regarded primarily as a sign of blood sugar problems. Blood sugar, when the uh, blood sugar rises, it can start to disrupt or interfere with the chemistry of various tissues in the body. Basically, the tissues of the body candy or caramelize or uh, they, technically it's called glycation. And between glycation and oxidation, you have your major causes of cataracts, and that's what causes the film. So first thing, treat yourself like a diabetic, even if they haven't told you you're a diabetic. Pretty much everybody, as they get older, has what's called dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and cataracts are a sure sign that that's occurring. Also, making sure you're getting enough antioxidants can help as well. So a couple strategies for you. Number one, get on the sweeties. Number two, keep your intake of fast-burning sugars like starchy foods and sugary foods and, and cere excuse me, cereals, breads, of course, desserts and fruit juices and things like that down to a minimum. Hang on just a sec there. Sorry about that. Uh, go right. ketogenic. Go ketogenic if you can. Uh, if not, just keep your intake of the sweet foods and the sugary foods and the starchy foods down to as, zero to as close to zero tolerance as you can. In addition to the sweeties, make sure you're getting enough magnesium. You might want to use the ultimate niacin, and you might want to also use the ultimate selenium. The second aspect of cataract formation involves the reaction between oxygen and light and the lens. Now, or, under ordinary circumstances, our body makes chemicals that protect the lens from these kinds of things. And also a lot of these molecules or these protective chemicals come in through the diet, particularly in fruits and veggies in the, in the colored portion of fruits and veggies. So making sure that you're getting enough pigments, uh, reds and blues and greens is very important. And making sure that you're using digestive enzymes, your ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar with these kinds of foods to help release them from the food. Just because the blues and the greens and the yellows and the bioflavonoids and the various eye protecting compounds are in the food you're eating doesn't mean you're getting them because they're very hard for the body to absorb. They're very hard for the intestine to pull in unless you have enough digestive enzymes and uh, your stomach, you're making enough stomach acid. So making sure you're, you're using all your digestive health strategies, including the ultimate nightly essence, apple cider vinegar with meals, your ultimate enzymes, even extra bile salts with your salads and with your veggies and with your colored fruits. 
Also, uh, making sure that you're using things like vitamin E and zinc and uh, um, electro, uh, electrical kinds of substances like taurine. You'll see these on the back of eye vitamins like our synaptive from young, I'm sorry, our Occutive from Longevity or our Vision FX from Longevity. Making sure that you're using things like N acetylcysteine. All of these have protective antioxidant effects to protect your lens from the light. So using uh, uh, blood sugar metabolite or blood sugar processing nutrients, keeping your blood sugar stable, lowering your sugar intake, and then using antioxidant and electrical nutrients. As an aside, these electrical nutrients like NAC and taurine and zinc and vitamin E will, and selenium will, and vitamin A will also protect your skin from sunburn so you'll find that you're not burning as readily if you go out in the sun. All right? Anything else, Mary? My other qu I have another one. Do I have time? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I had limes, and I'm still, even though I had, uh, I couldn't take Roxy, and I uh, took ampicillin for two weeks, but I still carry the bacteria in my system. Well, don't worry about the limes, sweetheart. There's no way you, I don't even know if that thing's real or not. I don't want to get into that because there's a lot of controversy, but the point is, is you have to just take care of your body. Forget the limes. This is important for anybody dealing with a diagnosis. The doctors want you to go follow the diagnosis because then they can get paid for the diagnosis. They go to a specialist, he gets paid, you get coded into the computer and you get a special insurance company billing and special insurance company uh, uh, premiums, you pay certain premiums and there's, there's a whole bunch of paperwork that's, are, uh, that's involved in the diagnosis. But that doesn't mean you're gonna get better. You get better by focusing on the body itself, not the diagnosis. You focus on the health of the body. Forget your Lyme's disease. You will focus on your digestive system. You work on digestive health. All the things we talk about on this program. Elimination diet and swear OV cleanse and intermittent fasting and calorie restriction and probiotics, etc. You work on your blood sugar. Just all the things I just told you. Lowering your intake, reducing your intake of sugar, using chromium, using vanadium, the B vitamins, etc. And then you make sure you calm the body down. This is how we treat health and this is the bright side philosophy. This is the core of it. Forget your diagnosis. Who cares about your diagnosis? What you care about is feeling better, feeling stronger, having more energy, being resistant to, uh, to illness and disease, and, and just feeling better, having better digestive health, and having a, a better cardiovascular health. All of these things are irrelevant when it comes to, or, or di your diagnosis is irrelevant when it comes to all of these things. Forget your diagnosis, work on your body. Taking care of the diagnosis, is that, that's the way the medical model works. You don't need that. You need to take care of the strength of the body. If you feel better, who cares if you've got Lyme disease? If you feel strong and have energy and you're running around the room and you got bound out of bed in the morning, you can throw your grandkids up in the air and catch them and you're, you're bending down on the floor and you don't have pain when you stand up again, who cares about your, the Lyme disease if all of those things are operating in your life? You follow what I'm saying, Mary? Yes. I've, that's what you're focusing you. on. What is the, the number to order uh, the things that you had said? The phone number for the uh, Brightside Ben phone team and all the longevity products is 866-735-735. 2470-866-735-2470. All right, God bless you, my dear. Hope I helped you out. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you for listening, friends. Listen, health is not complicated. The doctors want you to feel like you're out of control. They want to mystify things. They want to make it magical. It's not complicated. Work on digestive health. Work on blood sugar health. Stabilize your uh, cortisol and relax the body. No matter what your health challenge is, no matter what your diagnosis is, you will get better. That is the law. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.